Good morning guys. We are now off to do what could be arguably the most beautiful road trip in the world. We're doing the Icefields Parkway, which is the road going from Jasper to Banff, straight through the Rocky Mountains. Nothing but untouched, beautiful nature. <laughs> what the hell is this? What is going on? <laughs> We all have European oh license gosh, plates as well. All... There's more of them. What? What the actual heck? European plates. What is going on? So we're just coming down Icefield Parkway and we probably just passed 12 to 15 Porsche Cayennes, like brand new cars. They were uh, identical. Yeah, well, they were identical. They were identical. And uh, I can only guess that they're going for a photo shoot somewhere, but it looks so epic on this beautiful driveway, just like no other car in sight, and then you just have 50 Porsches ripped by. So, so cool. So Jeff has taken us to his secret spot on the side of the road. What are we looking at, Laura? What? What are we looking at? I want to get a photo. Okay, it's a mountain. That's uh, Jeff. That's just a car. That's Jeff. <laughs> My name is Jeff. That's a mountain. And there's more mountains down there. So I'll be the first to admit, this is not ideal shooting conditions. Uh, the entire sky is basically the same color as the mountains and the snow. So there's not a whole lot of contrast other than the tree line. You may not know this, but Canadians love to gamble. And it's not gambling in the traditional sense, it's done with coffees. This is called Tim Hortons, and you roll up the rim on your coffee using your teeth, and uh, there's a chance that you could win a prize. Today is a very big day for me. I have proudly won a free coffee. So just like that, today is off to a great start. Okay, this thing just like soared right in next to me. Why is it here? It is huge, and it's coming right up to me. I would not want to fight this thing. Why are you so big? What would you say your trademark is if you have one? Well, I guess the look I'm best known for is blue steel. Can you sleep? Use your imagination. Now, where was I? Oh, yes, yes. So we just saw a guy in the parking lot with his German Shepherd, and he's got like basically a toboggan loaded with bags and supplies. He's going down this path almost all the way to BC. He's going to be in here for three weeks. Surviving off nature. What? Like, how's that even possible? Not my cup of tea, but uh, I take my toque off to him. It's really frozen over, but it's pretty cool. Wow. wow. Look at that. I'm falling for this so waterfall. Cool. Uh, is it like kind of Lake Louise color or super yeah. blue? Yeah, super, super blue. I don't want to be pessimistic, but I would love to have had a clear sky to see all of this incredible mountain range left and right. And you can actually see that in some areas you'll see the treetops are basically just barely showing and that's because of avalanches that come down. So this roadway actually is closed during certain days of the year when there's high avalanche risk. And if that had been the case, we literally would have had to have gone back to Edmonton and then from Edmonton to Calgary and then from Calgary all the way to Banff would have turned a three hour drive into a nine hour drive. Luckily that wasn't the case here today. Uh, but because the weather warming up actually leads to more avalanches because the snow gets heavy, it starts melting and yeah, it could it was a bit of a high risk time, but um, the roads are still open. We're gonna be heroes today. This man needs help. Let's save him. Do one thing a day to help somebody else. On second thought, he's pretty far out there. Mm. <laughs> Hello, have a good day. <laughs> Just kidding. Help is on its way. Ranger Jeff. Hello. Hey. How are you? You've been stuck here for half an hour. Yeah. Brutal. Help is on its way. More backup. <laughs> When you see someone in need, you pull over. Go team, go! No worries. <laughs> no worries, have a good day! <laughs> we got him unstuck, but unfortunately, we can't teach him to drive. <laughs> That's on him. You can, uh, you can give a man a fish, but you, if you teach him how to fish, he'll, uh, he'll eat for... for if oh, you gotta... give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. If you teach a man to fish. So right up ahead here, you can actually see there was a big forest fire. And that was last year? Uh, two summers ago, I believe. We have just arrived in downtown Lake Louise, if you could call it that. It's a very, very small area. Right there is the Fairmont Chateau Lake Louise. You got that good, good vibe. I want to spend some time back here with you. So right behind
behind me, you've got Canada's national sport. Well, actually, technically it's lacrosse, but officially, unofficially, it's hockey. And uh, right now we've got a bit of ice hockey being played. We have found the ice sculpture. So this building is actually made out of ice. Wow. I would like to introduce you to my new crib. Welcome to Lost LeBlanc's Ice Chateau. Da, 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 da. Now, if you want to know the history on it, well, it goes back about 300 years. My father, he got out the chisel and he fought off the polar bears. And once he got the territory, once the polar bears finally stopped trying to attack him, he began to build the fortress. Many people have tried to conquer my father's fortress, but everybody has failed. And that is why Chateau Glacier still stands here today. This is all 100% accurate facts. Okay, goodbye. Ask me what I'm doing. Christian, what are you doing? Just chilling. I'm only wondering what's gonna happen when it gets above zero and this thing starts to crumble. Like, are they gonna let people get under the arches as like the whole castle is falling? It's a beautiful engineering wonder. Uh, my father, he's very, very good with ice and uh, his hands, his bare hands, built lots of things. He also built that right behind you. Let me show you. Le Fermont. C'est vrai. Yeah, please do take a photo. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sam. Yeah. Very nice. Thank you. <laughs> Have fun. Nice. Goodbye. Have okay. a great day. Bye bye. <laughs> See you. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't. So we're just gonna get some food. Uh, probably like a light snack and definitely a hot chocolate. It's always nice to come inside after a bit of cool air and take in some hot cocoa, some marshmallows. We got a mocha, so that means like half hot chocolate, half coffee. And then I was like, do you guys have marshmallows in your hot chocolates? Because that's what I envision when I come in from a cold place. And they're like, no, sorry. And so I made a little sad face. And so she brought me this bowl full of marshmallows. It's above the <laughs> Poutine. It's been my favorite food since I was little. And it's very Canadian. Basically, it's cheese curds and fries and gravy. And it's so good. So right there is an Animal Crossing bridge. From that side to that side of the highway, they can use this little thing without being roadkill, which is great. We've just arrived here at the ski resort where we're gonna be staying for a couple of nights. This is Sunshine Village, and I don't know what it is. Like, I might be crazy, but I'm 90% certain I've been here before. It might have been as a young kid. Basically, the entrance to the resort looks identical to somewhere I've been before. So, either I'm going crazy or Having a flashback. Sunshine Mountain Lodge. Yeah. Your dreams can come true. Jeff, I just want to say thank you for all the help you've been. And uh, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who's going to hold us to our deadlines and our timelines? We're not going to be on time for anything without you, Jeff. It's true. You can still be a Jeff for now. <laughs> yeah. My name is Jeff. Welcome to Sunshine Village. Welcome to Sunshine Village. Ready to go up to the Sunshine Village! <laughs> Time to wait! <laughs> this could be like one of those Final Fantasy things. It's like, it's your last chance to get off. This is our last chance. No, no, no. Don't worry, I got us. Let's go! <laughs> what are you doing, Christian? We can just go to the gym once we get there. This is my gym. Why are you working out in the gondola? Stay in shape. Hey. The one that I can live without mm, oh, that smile. We have arrived at the top of the hill and there's a nice little flurry up here. Woo! Snow for everybody. Okay, we got off too early. Everyone back on. <laughs> False alarm though. Onward we ride to the top. Panania. And? Huh? And? And what? What's the rest of the quote? You have to complete the quote. I don't know. And beyond? No, and for Narnia. And for? Aslan. Okay. Aslan. Day three. It's been three days. 
I think everyone went home for the long weekend. Hello? Help! Is anyone out there? I need Wi-Fi! This is how the original settlers felt after walking a good hundred meters. I think I see, I think I see safety. So this here is our beautiful abode, that right there. That's our incredible view. This place is super, super cozy. I feel like I'm nestled in a log cabin. It's absolutely awesome. Really cool experience to be up on top of the mountain too. And uh, right now we're heading downstairs to the uh, restaurant which is actually inside of here. It's called the Eagle Nest. And what's really cool is that we're actually meeting with the other influencers who are on this exact same campaign. The Travel Alberta has partnered with not only Laura and I, but also uh, George Benson and his girlfriend and Hopscotch the Globe, also known as Kirsten Sarah and her husband. So uh, really excited to meet them. It'll be the first time meeting George and I actually met Kirsten in Toronto probably a few months ago. So let's go say hi, let's go check it out. So I didn't really do any vlogging over dinner. You're gonna meet these guys tomorrow. So we'll see everyone tomorrow. All right guys, so amazing, amazing dinner. We had some... The food was never ending. We shared a yeah, so really good food. salad. We had baked brie. We shared a strip loin. No, it's beef tenderloin. Yeah, beef tenderloin. 10 ounce. Too much food. So yeah, you guys will meet the rest of the crew tomorrow. In the meantime, Laura and I are gonna go crash some edits. And I'm gonna end the vlog just about here. Let's get lost again tomorrow. Fan of the day.